Oh, look at this, you guys. I think we found a ranger station just right outside of town. Oh, perfect. This is exactly what we needed. Ranger Station Delta. Okay, well, we have found our new first outpost. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I'm an old guy gaming, and we are starting day two. As you can see, I did not make it back, or, or didn't make it all the way to the city, rather, uh, before dark, so I stumbled across this POI here um, and uh, looted a couple of things right before dark, and then um, just kind of hung out here on the uh, the roof of this place. So, uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time here, but there's a couple things we could try and, uh, try and grab. Like for example, the fat loots for this place is down there. I'm a little concerned though that <laughs> there's also a dog, a dog house thing there too. So there are usually burn zombies down in the, these fire pit places. And, uh, so, so let's grab, see if we can get the fat loots there. Let's loot this army truck. And then, I mean, there's, there's other stuff here that could be useful, but I, I grabbed some of it outside, uh, you know, before I, I came in here. Oh, and we need to go inside this camper too. Um, and then let's, after that, ski daddle. Okay, so what we're going to do actually here, let's just jump down onto this. So yeah, there's a, it's, it's really, really hard to see it, but there's a burn guy down there. Um, all right, so let's search the truck. See if we can get anything good out of here. Nice. We're not keeping bones with us for now. Not until we have a, a place to store stuff. Okay. Let's hop in here. Okay, there's no Zeke's in there. Got a little bit of food. And some water. Oh, that's amazing. Come on, more water. Eh. Mortician's drawer. We're, I'm not going to take spoiled meat at this point. It'd be nice if we could find a, a grill. That we will definitely take. All right. Um, there were a couple of. There's this. There was this chest and um, a thingamadoodle down here that we looted. Oh, look at that too. Nice. We can now make goldenrod. A couple more of those, and we'll be able to make uh, red tea. Uh, we could take that because we do have vitamins. Um, I'll tell you what, let's break this mattress up for cloth, because as soon as we can come across some glue, or even better, duct tape, what I want to do is I want to make some cloth armor so that we can fit this to get three extra slots, and then also this now, too. So we're going to need a chest piece and legs to to fit this. This we can put on any piece of armor, but it has to be armor. It can't be clothing. Okay, so we're actually doing really good on food. Um, and we just found some water, so, okay, so I think that's all we're going to loot out of here. Let's just try and be as quiet as possible. I'm a little concerned about dogs, too, so let's make sure this is ready to go. Check this here. Um, I'm going to take the lead, but I will take the brass. I don't see any dogs inside of here. There's a zombo right there. Oh, we just woke her up. Okay, 
so we dispatched two of them. Um, we know there's at least one burner down there, and there might be more. Let's close that. Fantastic. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Modify. I'm going to put the silence on, on there. That actually reduces its damage by a little bit, but not enough to worry about it. Let's repair this level 2 cloth armor. Let's modify it and put the triple storage pocket mod on it. And then put it on our head. And we'll get rid of the grass hat. Okay, so that opens up three spots for us. Let's eat this now. <coughs> and uh, I'm just going to eat these now too because they're taking up spot. And I think we'll ditch the cornmeal. And then and the paper. Okay. Um, let's grab these uh, medical supplies. And the fat loots. Oh, no, we just got the fat loots. Okay. All right. I think we should probably move on. Um, again, there's other things we could loot here. They'd probably be useful, but I mostly wanted to check the the camper and um and the and get those fat loots. Now, let's see. We have we have one water. I'm going to ditch the chrysanthemum too, by the way. So now we're not even encumbered at all. That's a beautiful thing. We have one water. Our hydration's not terrible and we have no, we have two water, sorry. One that's cooked and one that isn't. So, oh, there's a deer. There's a deer and a bunch of zombies wandering around. Um we don't want to kill the deer by the zombies because they'll just chow down on it. So let's see if we can get them to bugger off. Or we'll we'll kill Tom here. Okay. Again, no bones, but we definitely want to keep the fat. And we have a bird's nest here. And I saw a trash right here. All right, so this is, we're just going to automatically turn those into arrows as we go along. We'll hit some stumps too for honey. And we have a snake. Okay. Have a skill point. All right. Let's see. What do we want to put this skill point into? I think we'll put it into... Cardio. Oh, no. We already did cardio. Okay. Um... Pain tolerance is high up on my list. Uh, let's do parkour. And then maybe we'll do pain tolerance next. So I also want to get 69er uh, pretty quickly too. The honey's being stingy today. This little hunting blind. That's cool. I don't think I've... Have I seen that before? I don't know. Oops. Come on. It's like I click the button, it doesn't register. Oh, this is cool. Hunter's Retreat. Got a Steve over here. Check this stump. Dang, man. Still no honey. Uh, let's be careful. This is a POI, so... Oh, nice. You know what, though? I think that's going to be more valuable to us at the moment for selling purposes. Um, I'm not going to take this stuff. 
Eh, I don't want to deal with this jackass. Get out of here. Come on, man. Chase the stone. Eh, screw him. Okay, we got it. Some books. Nice. We can now make the dew collector. Let's just poke our head up here, see what's what the deal is. Alright, we got a sports bag with uh yeah, okay, I got torches. Fire-based weapon effects like torches and multons burn longer. Good. And we have some pants there. So we'll put those on. And that's that's it. That's all we have up here, huh? A little bit of cloth. Okay. Well, this could be um could be a place to hide out at night. The problem with it though is that. If the zombos detect you, um, there's only four wood posts between you and <laughs> hitting the ground. So, I don't know. Probably not the most ideal place for that. But it's kind of neat to see it, though. Still no honey. Rats. We'll reload our weapon here. I need to actually start... Hitting some stones, too. We're starting to get low on stones because they keep making arrows. I will continue to do that until we have a full stack of arrows. We have uh, 120, so we can make 30 more. After that, we'll just discard the feathers until we need more. I know you can sell them, too, but I don't think, I don't think you make very much money selling them. Could be wrong about that. There's a chicken. We're going to let the chicken go for now. So I want to get going on uh, the trader and then finding a place near the town for us to set up our first outpost. Preferably in a ranger station or military camp or something similar to that. Okay, that looks like a trader wrecked. So he's the farming and food guy. Oh no, that's not a trader. That's um that's I think that's like the lumber mill place. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to loot any more feathers, but we'll still keep taking eggs. Whoa. Check this vehicle. Oh, good. Glue. And we'll, we're going to take this and scrap it. I know it's worth more without scrapping, but we got to save space. Okay, so now that we have glue, we're going to make a couple of duct tapes from that. And then I'm going to make a... I'm going to make a... Yeah, chest and leg piece. And we're going to need a little bit more cotton to, to do that, because you need five per piece. So let me go grab some cotton real quick. All right, now let's go here and here. And we want to make the leg armor and the chest armor. Okay, let's modify this. We'll put the bandolier on those and wear them. And we'll just wear this until we can put something else on it. Good. Okay, so that freed up a slot or two and gets us in some more armor. So we still need to make the boots and the hand armor. So far, so good. 
I don't think I'm going to loot this place because... Okay, let's take our first water. Because here again, I want to get to the trader as soon as possible. Not to mention the fact that this is a three skull thingy anyway. So let's just keep moving. Jack's lumber mill. Maybe, oh, okay. <clears throat> we'll, uh, we got a couple of easy, quick and easy loots here. We'll grab those first. Uh, not interested in either one of those things now, uh, but maybe later. Nice. Okay. And that's all that's in here, apparently. Okay. Let's just go. Do we have at least one honey? We do. Okay. You know what? Let's not mess with the stumps now either. We'll kill this guy for some XP. Give him a couple bleeds. A couple bleeds, a couple stabs. All right. And we come across our first town. I believe this is the only town in the forest on this map. All other towns are in the other biomes. So this will definitely be where we'll be, be spending the first, uh, you know, the first part of this series. Now we don't, we can't live in the town. That's a rule of the series. Um, initially, <coughs> The reason I made that rule was because we were going to do a wilderness oriented series, but we're actually not, and that's still kind of why I'm having that rule, but we're also going to just kind of role play that the towns are just too dangerous to be in, um, which certainly makes sense for a zombie apocalypse. Um, so... That's the other reason, uh, from again, from a role-playing perspective as to why we're doing it that way. So we just want to find a POI and preferably a state ranger station, you know, kind of thing, just outside of the town so that, so that we can do the jobs for wrecked. Hey, look at that. Duffel bag. Okay, we'll sell that extra flashlight since we already have one. Uh, I think that is Trader Wrecked. Yeah, pretty sure it is. Okay. Oh, there's a camp over here. Oh, you know, Jiggly. Seriously. Okay. We have another skill point. Um, I think we'll put that one into pain tolerance. We have a point. We should have... Oh, actually, hold on a sec. Do we have a point in Dead Eye? Let's put a point in Dead Eye because we have a rifle. So we'll eventually put points in all of the weapons, but I want to put the points in the weapons that we... that we currently have first, and then we'll worry about the other ones later. All right, does this POI have a sleeper or anything? I don't see anybody on that side. But I also don't see anything good here either, unless there's something inside the tent. Oh. Oh, it's a crawler. The creepy crawly. Alright. Well, the only thing worth anything here is this, I guess. If I had a wrench, I could take the lantern part, but I don't, so. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Okay. Wrecked. He's going to be our first trader that we're going to have to put up with his bullshit. <laughs> oh, well. Let's turn this into cobble. And go loot Wreck's place. Well, actually, here, let's hit these cars first. 
Um, we'll, we'll start grabbing everything now because I can't... Oh, yeah, I can't get that. Because we're close enough to... <clears throat> excuse me, him now that we can start selling stuff. Um, that's a minor upgrade from what we had before. So, what I'd like to do is have a drop chest outside of his place. That we can keep extra stuff in. Normally what I do is... Is it going to let me put it here? It is. Normally what I do is I just throw stuff out. Like, if we have a stack of lead and he buys all but three, I'll throw them out. But now what we'll do is we'll just keep them in here and accumulate them. All right, stuff we're not going to sell to him that I want to keep. Let's put in here for the moment. No, we want this. All right, let's go around and start looting. Rekt doesn't have as much stuff as uh, Bob does, but there's still things to loot here. Okay, let's check the workstations. Nice. 42 nails, that's really nice. Another one. Okay, a couple more of those and we'll be able to make our first forge. Anything around this way. These vehicles are not lootable. Chemistry bench. Some gunpowder. There's nothing to loot in there as far as I know. All right. Nice. We're going to make a forge now. Fantastic. Then we can make um, iron arrows to start with. Let's check these little shacks here. Okay, we got some food, uh, which we're going to eat right now, or at least the canned food. Don't see anything else in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nothing in here. Oh, that's disappointing. Did we look at the the dresser? Yeah, it's not lootable. Okay. I don't think we can loot anything in here. Well, actually, doesn't he have like an... Yeah, he's got an upper area here. Where is me flashlight? I think these will have water in them. Oh, good. A little foot locker here. Come on, clothing. That is not clothing. Desk. Nice. Okay, that'll help us with it. even more XP. It just goes out there. Okay. Is there something you need? We're going to sell some things to him. We'll sell that and that. All this brass, gunpowder, lead, nails, cash, robotic turret parts, uh, iron, cornmeal. I don't want to sell the cobble. Okay, so that gets us up to 692 coin. And I think what I'm going to do with that money, since we have a couple of waters here already, is we're going to buy a cooking grill. It's going to take up all of our money, but we are right on the cusp of being able to do red tea and meat. Or can we? A sale we? is a sale, even if it's to a scumbag like you. Uh, food. Oh, we need two more of those magazines. All right, you know what I think we should do instead then? Since we know he has the grill, I think we should buy water instead. That's more important at the moment. Oh, 
Oh, you want a guarantee, huh? Well, maybe you should try Shamway. <laughs> nice. So that gets us up to a total of seven waters, and they're all, we're going to turn them all into golden rods because we can make golden rod, right? Yes, we can make gold rod. Okay, good. Uh, all right, let's take a job from him. Oh, I'm going to sell him this flashlight, too, because we have our other flashlight out in the the thing. forgot about that. So, yeah, I'll make another 40 coin. All that damn gawking at goods, and that's all you buy? Okay, Listen up, Jack Bob's ass. Cafe is the closest one. Don't you have all right, so that is over here. I'm trying to decide if I want to do this first job or get a, a, a place, find a place for us to to do our thing, you know, to to do our first base. Um, let's keep that, that, and that here, and this here in the sand. We're going to do a campfire. I'll just set that down next to there. Um, boards. Yeah, there we go. Let's get those two waters cooking, and then what we're going to do is make goldenrod. So I'm going to go out and harvest some goldenrod get it made up and then once that's done I'll bring you guys back and I think we're going to forego the job and look for a place for us to set up our first outpost because I'd like to have that established before nightfall and then we can just you know start doing jobs and whatnot at our leisure up there but whatever oh look at this you guys I think we found a ranger station just right outside of town Oh, perfect. This is exactly what we needed. Ranger Station Delta. Okay, well, we have found our new first outpost. That's amazing. Okay, so um I want to I want to go back and get my cooking pot and all that and finish. We got we need a total of 7 golden rod. All right, <clears throat> excuse me, we are hungry, so let's pop a vitamin and a sham sandwich. Frees us up a slot here. So I'm, we're gonna stop off at the trader, sell a few more things back. Let's do that right now while we're waiting for the golden rod. And then we're gonna just grab all of our stuff, except for the, the stuff we'll keep in the chest and head over to our new place. Uh, how about I empty your pockets? <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna sell him that's probably not enough brass. There, we'll keep the clay. He doesn't want the sand. Why don't we sell him some feathers? Yeah. Yeah, we just we just don't get enough money from those. We'll sell those nails. Uh, the shotgun parts that we looted. We'll sell those. And that gets us enough money to buy one more thing of water. Uh, right. Cha-ching! Okay. Thanks, buddy. All right, that's a pretty decent quantity of water for us. And we need to drink one of these right now. All right, guys, so I'm going to wait for this golden rod to finish. I'm going to grab all of our stuff except for the things we're keeping here to accumulate for selling. 
and I'll meet you over at our new location. In fact, I'm going to keep a couple other things here too, just to conserve space. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back at our new home here. Look at this. Got ourselves a little tractor with a bucket loader and a backhoe on it. That's cool. Um, too bad you couldn't like fix those up. Can you imagine plowing into a bunch of Zeeks with that? That'd be funny. This is the Navasgain National Forest, U.S. Department of Agricultural Ranger Station, and our new home for now. Uh, so, first thing, of course, we have to do is get it cleared. So, let's get to the business of doing that. Um, um, oh, nice. You know what? Let's not do any looting at the moment. Let's just clear, except for... I just want to see if there's anything good in here. Oh, nice. Um, here, we'll replace those two things. Do I still... Oh, you know what? I still have some vitamins active right here. So let's... Let's eat that, and that'll, that'll top us off nicely there. Okay, so... There's sleepers around, obviously. There's probably, whoops, probably one in here. Okay, it takes care of her. Yeah, this will be a nice little outpost for us to get started with. We even have a working generator. Look at that. All right, let's go around the perimeter first. Oh, there is a nurse Nancy. Oh, we got her. Kidney shot. Got a little shed here. Oh, what was that? It's a buzzard. Oh, man, that scared the bejeebus out of me. <laughs> <laughs> is he like stuck in a roof hold still damn I hate those things I shouldn't have I shouldn't have tried to aim I should have just taken them out okay oh my goodness that scared me okay Got a workbench in here. Okay, yeah, again, we'll leave that stuff there. Um, I'm just checking them because if it has something we can use, like, right now, or at least that we already have an inventory slot, but we'll go... Oh, that's nice. We'll come through and clean all this stuff up after we clear the place. Okay, so how do we... How do we get up there? really see a place there can we parkour up here oh yeah we can oh nice let's get this torch too we'll keep that and put it to use uh we'll leave that there for now oh we got to get the food though look at that okay one more magazine and we'll be able to make our own red tea this is good you know too we're not doing bad on food at all, so I think we're going to start saving cans of food that are used in higher recipes. I'm going to take this now, just because it'll help with our slow down our food and water consumption a little bit. Let's throw that stuff back in there for the moment. Okay, I see a uh, janitor, janitor dude in there.
Oh, wow. Sneaky. <laughs> he fell down there. Well, he's dead. One of these deals, huh? So there's probably a bunch of zombos down there. Oh, there's a the fat loots. Nice. Fully automatic fires more accurate with each shot fired. And we got some more bandages. And some iron arrows. The This stuff we will sell uh, to the trader. Let's actually switch over to these iron arrows. Okay, we'll leave that stuff there for now. Um, I hear sleepers down there, but I don't see them. So one of those deals where they haven't spawned in yet. I wish the game wouldn't do that. It's very immersion breaking for one thing. All right, here's what we're going to do then. Let's patch this floor up. So we'll go copy shape, copy rotation. It was a good thing that that zombie um, fell through there because otherwise we would have walked right on in here and been dumped right down into the badness. I was going to put a hatch there, but we woke some dudes up, so... Let's get that upgraded for a second until we can figure out uh, what we're going to do here. Turn these back into... Uh, actually, let's go with that. So when they break that, we can still shoot through it at them. check these books while we're waiting. Oh, uh, there we go. Grilled meat and red tea. So, as soon as we can raise 600 coin, we gotta buy that grill. Well, actually, do we have a grill in here? Nope. That would have been too easy. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Here's our radio. Looks like the radio is probably working, too, so we can, uh, radio. What is... <laughs> What did I call that guy? Zulu Foxtrot? Uh, something? Bravo, maybe? We'll radio him and say, hey, we got the first station secured. We we cleared the... Actually, the first station was Charlie. We did clear, but we haven't gone back there to repair it, which we will do um, at some point. Come on, guys. Get that broken. Yeah, this is great. I love it. I love it. In fact, let's go ahead and probably shouldn't do this till we absolutely clear it all the way, but we're going to do it anyway. Put our bedroll there. I want to keep the bed there for the rangers that eventually come and occupy the place. Oh, we need to go back to it. Oh, shit. Okay. Time to get out the pistol. All right, let's make a ladder and a hatch. There. Okay. We got that taken care of. I'm going to grab this torch here. Oh, that zombie's on the outside. Okay. Let's uh set that there. There There might be something on the other side of these crates, so Nope, I think we've cleared it. Fantastic. All right. Let's get rid of this crap. Nice. Grab the ammo pile. Get the 
classic from here. We're gonna open that door in just a moment. Get rid of this because it's just in the way. I'm gonna, once we open this door, we won't be able to close it again. So I actually want the zombie to break it for me. Okay, let's check the shoddy Messiah crate. Okay, stuff to sell. All right, let's get rid of this. That's attached to the edge of the shelf there. We could use that for storage, I suppose. It's kind of in a weird spot, though, is the only thing. All right, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that we use this uh, for our seven-day hoard. We'll just block this door, and I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so um, yeah, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put this down, and then we'll just fight zombies right through here. We can also fight any nighttime zeeks that come in. And uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. All right, fantastic. This is great, you guys. So, I mean, let's go ahead and actually use this for temporary storage. But, you know, when I completely get this place all set up, um, we'll, we'll put in real storage to make it look nice. But that'll work fine for now. That will definitely work fine for now. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this episode. We're out of time, so I'm going to wrap things up here. I'm going to just spend uh, the rest of today and overnight fixing this place up. So, you know, we'll, we'll pick up all of the trash. We'll harvest whatever resources are available and, you know, kind of get situated. And then in tomorrow's episode, we will go do our first job for Trader Dickhead. I mean wrecked. So <laughs> uh, so with that being said, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.